think that you can stand a chance against me? Maybe. Maybe! <laughs> <laughs> I have won the annual drone jet competition four times in a row and you think that you can beat me? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> for a couple of months to do my training, Leo, and then I'll come straight home, I promise. I made something for you. What is it? I made it at school. It really works. It's a booster for your jet. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. Pilot training? That's correct, yes. I remember when I was a pilot. I was the best in the force. Really? Did you enjoy it? Of course I did. Best job I ever had. Why aren't you still a pilot? Oh, I crashed. First try. The boss fired me for crashing a million dollar fighter jet. So I applied for secretary instead. Oh. Come on, I'll show you a jet. Wow. Ah, oh, here's your jet now. We call it the tornado since it can go higher than any of our other jets. What do you think? It's great. It sure is. We hope we've put it in the right hands. Ah, Jake, this is Mr. Attitude. I mean, Altitude. He is our boss. And he has kindly agreed to be your mentor. However, I will be deeply delighted if it so happens that you are not meant for the job after all. So Jake, how good are you at aviation? Well, I think I'm pretty good. Don't get your hopes up. What I like to say is, a flower won't flourish if a certain person were to squish it. But of course, some flowers do continue to flourish. Shoved under the sun and fed as much as they like as though royalty. Are you a flourishing flower, Jake? Um, I hope so. Then let's water you and see how high you grow. Get in that jet and show me how you fly. The spirit of the Wright Brothers, Mike, do you even know how to use those?
Yes. Uh. I Phew. I need to tell Mr. Altitude about this. Thanks, Leo. Mike! Mike, I gotta tell you something. Sure. You won't believe what I just saw out there, Mike. I can't even bring myself to believe it. But I saw the Bermuda Triangle out there. The Bermuda Triangle? I remember seeing that beauty myself. You've seen the Bermuda Triangle? Oh yeah, it was quite an adventure I had. Me and my friend Larry were out fishing in the ocean, and suddenly we came face to face with a giant triangular whirlpool. Our boat was no match, so I threw an anchor down at the bottom of the ocean to hold us, and shot a flare into the air to call for help. Luckily, right when the chains on the anchor were about to snap, a rescue helicopter appeared and Larry and I just escaped the boat before it was sucked into the treacherous triangle of death. It wasn't in the shape of a triangle. Okay, I kind of tinkered with that story a bit. What really happened was I forgot to put enough fuel in the boat and we had to be rescued by a passing ferry. I really saw the Bermuda Triangle out there, Mike. I have to report it. So, report it? Would Mr. Altitude even believe me? Maybe. The Bermuda Triangle, you say, Jake? Mr. Altitude, whilst I was flying, I came across something rather remarkable. The Bermuda Triangle. Are you sure that this is what you saw? I'm positive. This is a big discovery. Would you mind getting back out there and getting us some pictures, perhaps? Pictures? Shouldn't someone else do it? I'm exhausted. So stay away from the Bermuda Triangle if you're too sleepy to get your hands wet. Mike? Yes. Get a headset for you and Jake. I want you to stay with Jake whilst he is on this dangerous mission. Of course, Mr. Attitude. Just go back and get some pictures of it. Haven't I spent enough time at that crazy triangle? Like, why can't someone else do it? I'm chugging, just so you know. Is Mr. Attitude always that, you know, grumpy? Uh, yes, ever since a youngling, actually. What happened? You know, that's actually a great question, I don't know. What are you drawing? How do you know I'm drawing? Your microphone is literally being used to hold down your paper. Well, you can't possibly know what I'm drawing. Sesame Street. What? How? The music playing on your computer. That isn't copyright, right? Hopefully not, though. How do I even get near it without having it suck me in? I don't have my son's booster on me anymore now. Oop, my son Leo. I love children. I looked after my cousins a lot one day. It was awful. Not the time, Mike. Okay. the power of the triangle. You knew about the triangle all along? Why didn't you tell me? You sent me straight in the direction of it. Oh, that was intentional, Jake. I figured I should try and get a little taste of revenge for what you did to me. What I did to you? What did I ever do to you? All those years back, Jake. Surely you remember. When you stole my fame and fun, my confidence and spirit. I haven't forgiven you ever since that contest. You're Zane. Congratulations. You figured it out. And now I can finally get my vengeance against you. Mike, do you know something about this? Of course not, I didn't know a thing about this at all. Mike! Okay, I knew that you seemed to hate you with all the heart, but I swear I never knew anything about this! Okay, I believe you, but do you have any suggestions? Let me think. Uh... We don't have time to stop and think! I have an idea. What is it? Your jet stats. Your jet is the first jet we've made that has a higher altitude than any other jet. Mike, you're a genius! Sorry, all 
Lucy is back and never meant to hurt you. What did you mean to do then? I'm telling the truth here, I never expected myself to win that contest. I thought that I would fail miserably. I never even knew that planes were my passion before that day. I'm sorry that I stole your confidence, but this isn't the way to make yourself feel better. I know what you mean. The way I found my passion for planes was on a day when I was in an airliner travelling to Australia. Both pilots went unconscious and I heroically took over the controls and flew the plane safely to its destination. Ever since that day, I've always dreamed of flying planes. Well, that's a more my story. Okay, okay, what really happened was I did a surprise prank on the pilots, which caused us all to crash in the ocean, and we had to be rescued. But the point is, I see what you mean. Come on, Zane. Start over. Come on! Have fun. I will.